हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर सेशन विद मी तन्मय मेहता योर होस्ट दोस्त एज वेल एज होम थिएटर वाले भैया इट्स गोइंग टू बी सुपर एक्साइटिंग इवेंट टुडे बिकॉज फाइनली वी आर बैक अगेन इट आर एट आर एक्सपीरियंस सेंटर आफ्टर लास्ट मंथ लाइव फ्रॉम द वॉट हाई फाइव शो एंड आई नो द लास्ट वन मंथ हैज बीन क्वाइट यू नो हैवी नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज दैट यू गैज हैड टू गो थ्रू फ्रॉम द वॉट हाई फाइव शो सो इन केस यू कूड नॉट मेक इट टू द लाइव वी हैव एक्चुअली कैप्चर्ड लॉट ऑफ ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ दोज show some of the snippets are already shared on the platform so if you have already seen them let me know how were those and which were the products that you liked in that video so feel free to share them and yes if you are on already live please say hi in the chat box so that we know who you are what you do where you are from put in those details as well and to those of you who do not know me my name is tanmay mehta i am a uh, home cinema consultant since last 11 years based out of pune the company name is touchwood automations and touchwood we have been able to uh, take this company across india with such amazing projects which we are going to talk about obviously in today's live but i want to know more about you guys too so please feel free to share out here okay i can see already arvind over here questions you can hold on i am definitely going to answer all your questions i am not going to go anywhere for the next one hour so yes okay hi harman harman saying hi then first of all kudos to you for the hard work you do thank you thank you so much harman it really means a lot uh it's the passion and it's the drive that we want to ensure that we want to reach out to a lot of home cinema enthusiasts with right information so that is what encourages us hi prabir prabir is here from dhanbad jharkhand that's fantastic hi prabir how are you i hope you have bought your uh elac setup and let me know how is it sounding please feel free to share your uh feedback out here okay we have got vegetarian traveler saying hi hi uh okay prabir is saying fine that's nice we have got ramchandran murli as well asking question about kef ramchandran yes i'm going to definitely answer your question we have got sachin shiva velishala vamshi vamshi i can speak hindi also बट माई हिंदी इज नॉट वेरी गुड सो आई ट्राई टू आई मीन मैं थोड़ा कोशिश करूंगा ये लाइव सेशन में हिंदी बात करने की सिर्फ हंसीएगा मत इफ दैट्स वॉट यू वॉन्ट बट आई एम स्टिल लर्निंग इन इन हिंदी हारमी सिंह पीपल लाइक मी नो हु नोज नथिंग अबाउट हाई फाई वी आर लर्निंग नाउ दैट्स नाइस दैट्स रियली नाइस हाई फाई एक्चुअली इज अ टर्म विच इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर हाई फिडिलिटी and it means that whatever sound is recorded in the studio the smaller details you can actually feel it from these speakers and that's why these systems are called hi fi systems so yes we have actually done a video talking about what is hi fi so why don't you guys check that out in case you have the same query too okay i'm just saying not in live explain also in hindi uh maybe maybe you can ask them to watch our shorts that are coming uh, oh yeah i think we had say we are doing experimental hindi right now in our shorts because shorts are very quick so i don't have to talk in hindi for a longer time so uh, you can definitely watch vamshi some of the shorts that we are coming up with hindi language uh, it's more like a english not full hindi but yeah we are slowly slowly getting there explaining technical stuff in hindi becomes a little difficult cuz you don't know how to put those words up in hindi you can't use the right language uh, so it's not i mean you know i am definitely uh, as indian as you guys are and uh, hindi is something that i'm very proud of it's just that offline if i have a call and i can talk in hindi comfortably but in front of camera it becomes difficult because of these technical terms that we are surrounded with in this industry hi vinod thank you so much i am doing good how about you okay i think that's great uh, atharva so we have got certain questions you want to share something okay so sh- should we start with some of the questions that we have got we will, on the link or uh, yeah we can start with the one of the first few questions that were posted on the group and uh, so on the chat you, and then you actually can... forgot to read the comment that has been put by sachin shiva i think you should read it okay hi shiva uh, hi this shiv bangalore nice to see you if you need someone for growth of your touch would think of me well definitely sachin i mean we would love to have you uh I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just share a link with you this is a link to get in touch with our whatsapp business account which uh, me and my team takes care of so feel free to drop in a message over here 
and we would love to understand what you do and how you can you know help us because we have got some active projects happening in bangalore and not just bangalore i think we are doing projects across india as i mentioned at the start which we'll be talking about and uh, slowly slowly we'll get there so let's begin with the questions because i know people are more excited for that okay so i'm going to take the first question which i have from mr ramchandran murli good evening kf q750 i have what power amp rating amplifier i should use the speaker rating shows 15 watts to 150 watts what is the recommended continuous rms rating thank you okay so ramchandran uh, the speaker rating or the wattage <coughs> is just a number to denote how much wattage the speaker can deliver now whether you are going to use all the 200 watts or 150 watts that they claim probably not because the wattage depends upon your room acoustics number one number two it depends upon how far you are sitting from that particular speaker so that at what volume levels are you going to take it up to because technically even a 10 watt sound can suffice you okay having said that people do not like that and nobody would want that so you definitely want to stretch it to 50 60 80 80 uh, watts so even if it's uh, 150 watts as the power rating of the speaker it does not mean that you have to blow it all that you know till that particular value so a power amplifier of even 100 watts can drive the ampl the can drive the speakers very well so even if you connect it to your av receiver it will still drive even if you connect to a power amplifier of 100 120 watts rating it will still drive the question is how far you are sitting and whether you need that kind of output power to touch all the way till 150 cuz there are certain peaks in some content that we watch suddenly there's a loud boom so over there probably you may need an extra headroom in the amplification but on an average everything that we all consume if we are sitting at a distance of 15 feet probably it's not going to even surpass 100 watts of power output okay now this i know a lot of people would come back and say hey you know what this is not fair or this is not real the, the real numbers but this is what is actually required to give you a still pleasurable experience in your home theater room so yeah room acoustics and weaving distance plays a important role if that is not very very high you can stick to av receiver but power amplifier will bring out the dynamic sound so going for emotivas rotels those kind of power amps will definitely help you okay next question we have from abhishek abhishek is saying hi then i finally bought the benq gp100 portable projector and i'm fully satisfied with the picture quality and inbuilt sound oh that's that's lovely uh no question but nice thank you for sharing that abhishek uh, i think we are connected over a t20 call that's the reason he is sharing that next up we have a question from mr shakir who is saying sir i have pioneer vs6834 i have a tight budget i can't afford premium speakers in the uh speakers in the amazon taga harmony 506 v2 speakers are now in just 30k it's affordable to me how they sound please explain so shakir uh, taga harmony nice brand 600 series onwards is what something that we typically recommend 606 607 uh, but 506 not bad uh, i think if your room size is under 152 max 200 square feet you can go ahead with it not a bad speaker the alternative to that would be probably polk fusion t series but again not that great okay can we get a vi- review video of benq w5800 well we have done a benq review f- video it's not a fully review review we have seen it in the what hi fi show and that's where we thought of you know checking that product out uh, we are reaching out to benq team to help us with that product if we get that then we would want to test it live and not just that projector guys we want to test it with ls12000b as well as the sony xw5000 es all three side by side because i am personally super excited for it and all of these projectors i believe to be around the same price range so yes but okay here is something that i would like you guys to you know take an action upon i know a lot of people are asking us to review certain products but for us to reach out to brands what they need is that they need a good credibility or validation and that validation will only come if you guys hit that subscribe button so many of you have still not subscribed to our channel <clears throat> so i would highly recommend you guys to do that because these numbers become good statistics for us to reach out to brands and request them for products because the viewers are asking for it and then only the brands will oblige to our request so please put in you know subscribe button and to those of you who have already subscribed you have got three four other family members in your home take their phones and still subscribe 
Okay, next up we have question from Vinod. Vinod is saying, dear, please tell about Cambridge Audio SR10. Okay, SR10 Cambridge Audio, I have personally not checked Vinod, so I won't be able to comment on it right now. But as a brand, Cambridge Audio is a fantastic brand used by a lot of people for two-channel stereo listing. Uh, the new receivers, I have not checked for the SR10. I will definitely check it for you and try to comment on it later. Next up, we have Mr. Jayanth who is saying, will keeping speakers non-functional for about six months or so would harm it? Uh, not really. Uh, probably if you have any moisture in that room, certain uh, damages might happen to the rubber drivers. Otherwise, there's no harm. You can keep the system off and still come use it when you come back. Uh, Prabir Singh, hi, sir. My ELAC audio setup is completed. Confused about video whether to buy 65-inch 4K OLED TV or to buy 4K projector with 100-inch screen. 4K projector is costly nowadays. Uh, <coughs> Prabir, that's true. 65 inches TV would cost you around 1.2 lakh rupees probably if you're going for a good quality OLED or a QLED. In the same price, the projector screen will not work. But definitely the experience with the projector screen is going to be far more better because you can turn off the lights and get fully immersed into your screen. You can't turn off lights with the TV because the light source is right in front of you and it is going to bring a lot of strain on your eyes but with projector screen you can achieve it so projector screen experiences are always going to be far more higher now i'm sure some of the uh, viewers out here they already are using projector screen so in case any of you want to share your experience of what made you choose a projector screen over a tv feel free to do that and let us all guide Prabir. Ramchandran is asking, Emotiva Basics 5 will do its 90 watts and my distance is only 10 to 12 feet. Ramchandran, go for it. No problem at all. I want to arrange a home theater. I Can you tell me starting budget? I am middle class man. Well, Vamshi, even I am a middle class man. Uh, so I can understand that what kind of pricing you would have always want to start with. But to give you a rough budget, a good home cinema setup can start from 3 lakh rupees. And anything about that okay so based upon your requirement your room distance uh the room volume the choices of speakers projectors that is actually going to give you the right figure so what we have done is we have pinned a comment okay use that to submit your uh you know your information and then one of our technical experts will guide you to design your setup within the price range that you are sharing over there so do that i think that will help you with the right options <clears throat> okay, I'll give you more subs for sure. Well, definitely, I'm interested in to see that. Uh, I have Denon X 3800H with 9.1 LCR monitor audio bronze. C100 with Big America, okay, PL200. I am feeling front stage, not loud. I have to listen with 0 dB reference for movies. Uh, that's not bad. You can definitely even stretch it beyond 0 dB also if required, Harman. Uh, probably check out the speaker cables. See if anything can be done with that. Is there anything in terms of improving the sound right at the source? So if you can increase the source DB level, probably that will again improve the sound. And main thing, I think what you can, what you need to do is check out your crossover settings properly. And with regards to the front stage, it can be within the distance that you have. So I don't know what distance you are keeping them apart, but the more wider they go and, you know, away from the screen, the more better the sound experience would be. Is it okay to match the speaker's level calibration to reference level up to plus 4 or plus 6 dB or am, am I overheating the speakers? Uh, I think the reference level, if you're talking about the dB test on levels, you have got plus 12 as an option. So plus 4, plus 6 is still okay to stretch up to. But if you're talking the one which is in the audio settings, then I think plus 6 would be too much. You can keep it to plus 2 or plus 3. Saurav is 3650 square feet. Wow, that's huge. And balcony closed. It's 450 square feet. Okay. Then we are good. I want multi-room set speaker setup. Which brands are good for it? My budget is 10 lakh. Well, if you want multi-room speakers, Saurav, uh, I think there are a lot of brands. But in the living room, I can recommend you to go for a good two-channel stereo setup if you just want audio. And for your balcony, you can use two outdoor speakers which are weatherproof uh, or which are garden speakers, wall-mountable speakers. But again, weatherproof and connected to a different amplifier. With this kind of setup, I think you can still achieve wonders. And some of the best brands to accommodate in that 10 lakh rupees budget, I think Sonus Faber, Sonato, 
BMW 600 or 700 series speakers. These are a couple of brands which I can think of right now. But if you need some more better guidance, you can use the form that is shared in the pinned comment. Next up, hi, is Epson TW9400 better or BenQ W2710i? Uh, hands down, TW9400 still better. Uh, BenQ W2710i is a LED projector which they have recently launched. Upgrade to the W2700 model. But personally speaking, the LAMP TW9400 still delivers a fantastic image quality. The main competition is going to be the LS12000B versus the BenQ W5800. And that is something that we are super excited to actually check and see what are the results. Also, do I need Google Assistant support with the same? Uh, yeah, I think you can achieve that because today most of the multi-room amplifiers or streamers, they would have a compatibility with Alexa as well as Google Assistant. So not an issue. But I highly recommend you to use that link to get a better option. Is DVL a good option? Well, DVL, if you're buying two phantoms and just trying to create a two-channel stereo setup, that's good too. DVL works on a technology wherein they claim to not have subwoofer at all. I think they're doing a great job in that. Even their speakers are well appreciated. Personally speaking, <clears throat> I feel them a little loud. Okay. So that is where if I want a good, high-quality, true music tonality speaker, I would still go for a flow standing speakers over DVLA. One of the videos that we are next coming up with is the Macintosh RS150 and RS250 model. I think RS250 can be something that you can still evaluate with an additional subwoofer if required, because that is one speaker which has blown our mind and it is really amazing and can be a good value addition in the living room. So definitely go for it. Why don't you want to, I mean, you want to share your experience about Macintosh Atharva? So you already know that I've been I've been playing songs the entire day on, on that it, speaker. Yeah. So I just loved the speaker, and I'm we don't want to return that. Yeah, but, don't want to return that. But still, we have to pack it tomorrow and send it back to the company. Uh, but that speaker is going to be live on demo at the uh, Smart Home Expo happening in Mumbai at the Geo Convention Center from second, third, and uh, on second, third, and fourth May. We would be there one day, which we would be sharing when on our Instagram handle. So please follow us over there to know what date we would be there. And if you guys want to feel or you know listen to that speaker, make sure to visit the Sonus Faber booth and get a demo of that Macintosh speaker. It's really amazing. Price is, I think, around 4 lakh 60,000 rupees only for one single yeah, speaker. It's expensive. But it's amazing. But it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next up, we have a question from, can we use handmade speakers at home theater? Avoid Vamsi if you can. Uh, see, home anything homemade is not going to have the uh, a crossover, which is really nice, or the cabinet design, which has been done a lot of R&D by big, big companies. So, personally speaking, avoid if you can. Build slowly, but build good. Is OnQ RZ50 good? in terms of format supported and is it equally good for movies and music? Is there any upgrade plan? Well, OnQ RZ50 is definitely a nice uh, AV receiver. It is one of the few AV receivers with direct live license built in. So you don't have to pay additional $300, $350 for it. For movies, it is fantastic. For music, it is okay. -ish. So uh, for music, I would still love to go back to Marans or anything else, but not OnQ. But for movies, it's it's really a, a very, very nice AV receiver. We have currently used it in some of our projects with uh, clip speakers because one of the advantages of using OnQ with clips is that it has got a clips optimized mode. So that helps you learn the curves because all you have to do is select the speaker number, a speaker model of clips and it automatically pulls out the curves. So that does the job pretty easy. Some of the other installations that we have done with OnQ uh, TXRZ50 recently are with MNK speakers. Uh, again, Sound perfectly fine, no problem at all. So these two speakers is what the combination we have used in the past with OnQ TX RZ50. As of now, there is no news of that being discontinued or anything new coming in. I think that generally happens in the month of August, September. But by the time the material comes in India, it is almost November, December. So if you're planning to do it now, you can go ahead with RZ50. <clears throat> Next up question we have is from Pradeep. Pradeep is saying, my room is 11 by 14 feet, was planning to buy Lumina 5. 
which every receiver would you recommend that matches well with the speaker that's fantastic pradeep i'm really proud of you lumina 5 is amazing speaker uh i would pair it with a yamaha rx a4a a very nice seven channel av receiver if seven channel is what you're looking for uh if not i think go with any of the marans but use a power amp of rotel even if you go for a basic a12 a14 that is still okay next question we have from mancave audio okay okay he's talking to prabhu that's fine shobhit is saying how is pioneer vsx 934 how is it comparing to denon x 250 bt i'm using elax rema 10 will there be improvement in sound if i change my denon x 250 to pioneer vsx 934 So VSX 934 is a seven-channel AV receiver. It's a Dolby Atmos compared to X 250 BT. So definitely, you will get much more additional features in the Pioneer VSX 934 compared to X 250 BT. However, in terms of sound, I'm not sure if it is going to really increase the audio levels. Because for us, the Elax have worked best with either Yamaha or Denon AV receivers. Pioneer we were not very very satisfied with. My second hall is 17 by 21. It is not closed space, and I'm planning a 150 inches ALR screen with Epson TW7100. What amp and speaker system would you recommend for three lakhs? Uh, well, it depends if you're looking for floor standing speakers or in wall speakers. So why don't you just mention that till that I might take another question. Uh, next up, we have question from Karthik. Hi, Tanmay. Love your content. I am looking for a budget home theater setup for a small living room, 10 by 15 feet. Suggest. Between used Sony DN 1080 or X Denon X 2800 or new X 1800H with Polk ES 15 or Blick 20S front. Always recommended new AV receivers because electronics need to be new for warranty purposes. Anything that is used, you don't know what has gone inside, what has been changed, how is the AV receiver. So X 1800H will still do the job with Polk ES 20 in the front and not ES 15. ES20 has got a bigger driver ensuring a larger throw so that will always perform better can you suggest a good 4k projector under 1.5 lakhs i think considering your room's viewing distance limitation uh, the BenQ W1800 or the Optima UHD 35 plus for epson you may have to cut down on the screen i think 100 inches may not work Deepak Mohre saying chup chup. Okay, I don't know if it's for me or not, but I won't be able to be chup because this is our live station wherein I'm here to answer the questions. So I'm really sorry, Deepak, if I'm going to disappoint you today. Next up, we have a question from Pranav asking us. I have been looking for a home theater setup for a year now. Seven point one point six. Wow. With Denon X sixty eight hundred H AV receiver and an external power amp with Polk Audio XT twenty. Polk Audio XT15 and Polk Monitor XT12 sub. I think that's really nice, uh, Pranav. Uh, one recommendation, though, uh, you can try to go a little beyond Polk Monitor XT series to either the Reserve series, if possible, because then that 6800H will also get good justice, as well as your 7.1.6 will sound perfectly fine. No sound coming. Okay, how many guys can hear me properly? If you can just put in a yes in the comment. If not, I'll just take the mic a little closer. I hope this is okay. What all devices one should go for, like Blu-ray player, along with AV receiver in home theater setup? Wow, that's a personal question. Uh, I think it depends upon what kind of content you have. Like today, for instance, I was speaking to a guy in Bangalore who, in Bombay, sorry, who has a good Blu-ray movie collection. So for him, a Blu-ray player will definitely make more sense because he can then. Use the Blu-rays with the Blu-ray player, as well as use the USB drive to connect any extra external hard drives that he has. In case you don't have any Blu-rays, you don't plan to buy any Blu-rays, then stick to a an Android or a uh, Apple Media Player like Apple TV or an Nvidia Shield TV Pro, or worst to worst, I think Fire TV Stick. Any of these media players is still good enough to take care of your requirements. So, based upon that, try to evaluate what is the right media player for you. some people also i've seen using playstation console boxes to connect a hard drive or even use it as a blu ray player so yeah i think it's very very subjective based upon what you use as a primary source of media i am a ott guy so i would love to just go ahead with an nvidia or an apple tv and use it to watch the home theater content 
my system odyssey calibration has given the result 40 hertz and i also use a power amp is that okay to keep the same crossover or should i should it be reduced okay so if manoj right now if you are happy with your entire setup and your subwoofers are performing very well they are not uh, kind of you know overlapping on the low frequencies or the mid frequencies of the speakers then you can keep it the way it is in case you are facing those challenges then only try to fine tune it and increase it from 40 hertz probably till 80 hertz do it step by step play a content shift to 60 hertz play the same content play you know go it go to 80 hertz play the same content see where does the sound you know kind of get gets balanced and then put that as your final setup okay uh next up next up okay my second hall i think that we did a front floor and rear wall mount okay so if you're looking for floor standing speakers and rear wall mount hkr i think the best thing that you can do over here is that you can go for a speaker like either a clips r600f or a dali oberon 5 flow standing speakers or else polk reserve speakers these is three would cater to that room size and will still work in your home theater setup very well okay raju is asking where to buy Denon navr definitely don't buy it on amazon because amazon is all cheap i know the prices are getting super attractive but the companies are pulling out warranties there is not going to be any warranty support on it so try to reaching out to your local dealer if you have any if not just drop a message on the chatbot that has been shared and uh, i think that will solve your purpose so okay so we have got uh, a super chat as they call it thank you so much rahul i really appreciate that and if you've got any queries feel free to ask okay i'm going to take your question now rahul the netflix tv app on my sony tv looks better than the apple tv connected to uh connected to maran's sr5015 in spite of using a high quality bellini hdmi cable i think this there, there should be the netflix tv app on my sony tv looks better so try going into the apple tv settings okay there are two versions one is hdr one is sdr try playing with it as well as there are various frame rates also available so try playing around with it because out of our results, when we did this some time ago with Apple TV as well as NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, uh, we saw a marginal differentiation when we try to play around the video settings of the Apple TV. So try to do that because Apple TV, uh, Netflix on Apple TV really looks nice. I can agree that the Sony's or the LG OLEDs will still give you a better output because over there it's directly the main display that is uh, got the Android uh, OS built in. But with a media player, there's a link of cables, which is first going to your AV receiver and then AV receiver to your TV. So that can also deteriorate. But looking at your current products, it's totally fine. So no problem with it. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, Rahul has actually given an update on the... Okay, so he's saying I've changed all the settings. The Sony AATI is still... Netflix looks way better. Well, I think then that's the sad story of uh, Apple TV. But I hope to try and see what is... If you can actually send a photo... Okay, on the same WhatsApp number, Rahul, by uh, showing one image of Netflix from Apple TV and one from your Sony. So then we can understand that what is it that we're getting missed out and probably what is it that we can improvise in the Apple TV settings. So, so you missed a question from Pranav. Okay. He's asking, where do you suggest to buy Blu-ray movies in India? Um, I know a source. I know a source. Do you know a source? Feel free to share. Not online, a torrent. Oh, come on, we can't talk that over here. <laughs> He's talking about authentic Blu-ray discs, if I'm correct to understand. So, well, you can, uh, Amazon is the biggest source, uh, but a lot of companies uh, are manufacturing them like Excel Entertainment. So, try to reach out to the main Blu-ray manufacturers and try to make a deal and get those Blu-rays directly. I have got a client in Chandigarh who is doing that and uh, he's, you know, got an entire collection. He doesn't so watch anything on like to tell them about the client that you are just speaking the chandigarh client uh, it was so, a very interesting story you told me yeah so he um, he runs a video production company so he is fond of good quality of videos and uh, over here what we are doing is we are using a jvc projector which is nz7 a native 4k projector laser projector with bnw ct series of speakers and the primary requirement was only for movies in that theater room it's an I think eight seater theater room 
really impressive. It's almost 22 feet by 20 feet or 24 feet as the room size. And it's right in the basement. So done very nicely by our team. And the customer was very particular that he's like, I don't watch anything on OTT. He watched watches everything on the Blu-ray discs. So he has got a tie-up done with directly the Blu-ray manufacturer. And he prefers to buy all those Blu-rays at a good rate that he's getting from it. So yeah, you can try to explore these avenues to buy or to source your Blu-ray discs because it really helps. And talking about some of the projects, you know, or the locations. So I'm going to share with you some in, some great insights. So uh, first of all, we completed 20,000 subscribers on our channel. So big congratulations to all of you and thank you to all of you for showing the support on our channel. Uh, I hope to see that number growing so that we can try and get some more amazing content, products, reviews, all of these things for you. Next up, we have got some exciting projects that are going on right now in Bhuvneshwar, in Odisha, then uh, Indore, Nagpur, Bangalore, Hyderabad, uh, I think Jaipur we are soon to start. Uh, Ambala, we recently finished a project, which was again a very nice project uh, That's uh, that we completed out there. Uh, Delhi, we have got some exciting projects as well. Uh, what else? Which other locations? Am I forgetting anything? I think Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai is another city wherein we have got uh, amazing home theatres again coming up. And Pune, that's our city. So, you know, we have to be good out here as well. So, we have got some exciting installations of ultra short throw projectors with floor rise up screens, which we have it on our office as well. So, we are going to shoot those videos and try to review some more amazing product reviews that we have got right now and some of the cool products that we are using in these projects. So stay tuned to see all these because project setup tools are going to restart and we have got some more uh, amazing uh, photos and the videos of our projects to come soon on our channel. Coming back to a few questions. Okay, we have got Mr. Tyson asking us, does the Maran cinema series run hotter than the SR series? Uh, we have not particularly seen this issue. Uh, I think it depends upon what sort of calibration settings. If you're keeping it same, then it should work fine. But from our experience, I think the Maran Cinema 5060 are still performing very well. No complaints from whatsoever installations done till date. Uh, I need a guidance. Can you please suggest a unit of or soundbar for meditation in Puja room? Okay, uh, don't go for soundbar. If you can avoid it, you would want to go for at least a good two channel stereo setup or a single channel speaker. So the Macintosh RS150 is amazing. It can really take help you connect with your soul. So that is really nice speaker. Uh, if not that, the Sonus Faber Omnia is also nice. That is also what you can consider. Let me know the price point that you're looking for, Prakash. I think that will help me give you the right answers. Shakir is saying seismic speakers under 40,000 for 5.1. 40,000 is pretty tight. I think up to 50, 60,000 you can find Polk TL 1600 or uh, or or Sonodyne Micro HTS, which are still hot running. Thanks for suggesting speakers. I, it, I'll take count of <clears throat> it. What is your take on base shakers? And if good, I'll upgrade with those in future your suggestions. Uh, base shakers are good, but I'm not really a fan of it. Because uh, too much of bass really overpowers on your, or overlaps on your mid and the highs and takes away all the fun. So I think if you're happy with the current setup or if you plan to keep it the way it is, try to do that. Bass shakers are not going to really help you enjoy until unless you want that experience to be given of things moving around. Aditya is asking best projectors under 30k. I think Aditya, we'll have to watch our video which we have done of some of the good projectors that you can buy under 30 or 50k. Some things that you have to take or into consideration over there is the lumens figure, which is very, very wrong. Uh, the kind of resolution that they mention is also wrong. So try to be aware of these things. Uh, one projector that I can think of right now is the Vonbo Mozart T2. I think that's the projector. Rahul is saying just one last question. What can I use to reduce the brightness of my focal core i826? Always feel the need to use the tone control of on my amp. Will a DAC be of any use? DAC will definitely be of a good use, uh, but I think what you first need to sort out is the settings in the focal core uh, in the amplification to take care of this brightness. Because focal core 826 uh, with its flax cone, I think is amazing speaker. I can agree that it has got a little brightness, but try to use the tone control on the amplifier first, and then use a DAC to 
change the little bit of uh, settings in that too. I've been watching you since one year. Thank you so much, Shakir. Uh, how is the Denon AVRX 3800H? Well, Anurag, the Denon X 3800H is a really nice AV receiver. Very well appreciated. Uh, it's one of the most cheapest nine-channel AV receiver and the most uh, easiest way as well that you can achieve to cover a 7.1.2 or a 5.1.4 format. Also, if you add an extra power amp to it, you can take it all the way up to 11 channel. So I don't think any amplifier close to that value or price can deliver that. But what matters is what speakers you're connecting it to and what room size you're using in. So make sure that your these calculations are done right. I have big PL200 too, but I'm not happy with it. I want to upgrade to subs. What will you suggest under 1 lakh? Or any other suggestions, I'm open to experimenting. Uh, well, I think you can check out the mission subwoofers. They are pretty nice. The QX12, I think that is one uh, subwoofer around 40, 50 grams. So you can use those two. Clips is another uh, amazing, uh, has got another amazing range. So the SPL 100 is something which you can explore. Far more better than the big America. It's very tight. So if you want tight base, then that is what you can look for. Rahul is asking, what is your opinion on Dyn Audio speakers? Very nice, very soothing, very peaceful speaker. Uh, the closest competition to it is the Sonus Faber speaker is what I can think of. So try checking out Sonus Faber Soneto series, Rahul. I think you should like that more. Projector or 75-inch X90 TV for rented property. Uh, a portable projector is what I'm going to answer out here, Kiran, because I think that is going to take care of everything. So uh, XGM Horizon Pro or a Horizon Ultra, the recent launch, that is something which you should consider so that any wall in your property can be converted into a home cinema experience. No limitation of carrying that big TV while shifting houses. These portable projectors can do the job well. Very high in brightness. So even during daytimes, you just draw the curtains and you turn on the projection on the wall. You will still enjoy it. That is what I think. Let me know what are your thoughts. My budget for Puja room is less than 20k. Okay, so for less than 20k, why don't you go for uh, the Sonos Era 100 or Yamaha WX20 020 speaker or 022 speaker? That's a nice speaker. And if not that, then I think two options one is Marshall, second one is Sonodyne. Both, both Bluetooth speakers. SVS 3000 micro or KF KC62. Tough choice. Uh, I think KF. Okay, so I've, I think we've got good questions covered. I'm going to take a few questions from uh, our Slack that we have got, wherein people have asked a lot of questions on that too. So let me just pull out that. In the meanwhile, if you've got some more queries, feel free to put it out over here. And also let us know what kind of content would you like to see more from us? Because we have been trying to get around with good content. I have seen yesterday's uh, short video of HDMI CEC. I think that's one magic trick that has been really working well. And we have already seen more than 50 comments on that particular video. And you all are super excited for it. I already know that. And Atharva has been instructed to post that video tomorrow itself so that we can share those links out. And that's going to be a preview link that you will be getting. So those of you who have commented on that will be getting to watch that video three days in advance than the day that it is scheduled to release, which is Monday. So if you need to see that video as well, please comment to our yesterday's short video. Okay, we have one question from Ashwin asking us, please explain me what is the difference between BMW involved speaker 7.3 and 7.4. <clears throat> So 7.3 and 7.4, I think both of these are three-way speakers. So 7.5 is two and a half way. So that's the major difference between these three speakers, Ashwin. Uh, but let me still pull out that for you to give you the right understanding. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Uh, the BMW CT 7.3 is three-way. And the 7.4 is also, uh, 7.4 is two-way, yeah. So 7.4 and 7.5 are two-way speakers, whereas the 7.3 is a three-way speakers. That makes it a little bit more better in performance than your normal two-way speakers. So you get much more better separation with the 7.3. So go for it if you can. 
uh, if you've got a separate base which are powerful and you want to keep that the way it is, then you can avoid the left rights to be 7.3, but the center one, if you can go for 7.3 itself. Okay, next question we have is from Godfrey. He is asking, will be buying the Vim amp. Can you suggest a pair of bookshelf speakers? I mostly listen to smooth jazz and classic hits, not too expensive speakers. Flow standing two will do. Well, uh, Godfrey, I think good speakers for you. One is Dino Audio, the Evoque 20. Uh, second option is uh, the BMW 607. And the third option is Dali Oberon 3. That's a very, very nice speaker uh, that can help you with the kind of music that you are listening to. All three bookshelf speakers. Okay, we have got some more questions out here. Uh, for the Atmos setup, front heights and front tops, is there a different frequency that will give AV? That will give AVR. Okay, Manoj, uh, I'm unable to understand your question. I'll take on the next one till then. Are XGMI projectors reliable? How are they compared to Epson? If possible, please share the recommended projector within 1.5 lakhs for dedicated room. Well, Kiran, within 1.5 lakhs, I think XGMI Horizon Pro would be the best bet. The Ultra is around 2 lakh rupees. Uh, how are they compared to Epson? Well, Epson is more of an installation-based projector wherein you will need an HDMI cable either to come all the way till the table or you'll have to hang the projector. It's not going to be an easy setup. So it's going to take at least five minutes of your time to set it up on the screen. Whereas portable projectors are extremely fast. So you just have to turn them on and they are like TV. They will add, automatically adjust to the screen and give you a fantastic image on the screen. In terms of warranty, uh, XME will have, I think, one-year warranty support compared to Epson, which will have to. So that is the only sacrifice. But they are still working fine because some of the old projectors that we sold in XME, we have never gotten any complaint from any of those customers. So reliable, uh, definitely. Hope one day you'll be India's Walmart, Amazon for AV and related products for home and commercial segment. Let's work towards it. Definitely, Shiva, I think we are already taking a lot of big steps towards this. Uh, we want to be uh, one of the stores not only meant to sell boxes, because you, as you all know, we never intend to do that. Our whole objective is to give you guidance or give you handholding in a manner wherein you can make your own decisions. And we can just be the facilitators. So that is what we are working upon, Shiva. And you are always welcome to be a part of it. Does Direct make a lot of difference? Is Auro 3D work? Does, is Auro 3D works well with our Airtel Extreme channels? Uh, Auro 3D is not for any of our local OTT content because Auro 3D is a, as a content, it's still not come on the OTT platforms. The news is that there is, I mean, they are working on it and they will soon be there. But as of now, it's not. Uh, but talking about Airtel Extreme Channels, I don't know if they have got Atmos as well. So it is more of a full HD or a 4K maximum content that they are giving out. If you're buying a separate media player, then any of these formats will add value to you, uh, Fanindra. So think of that. And talking about Direct versus Odyssey. Well, uh, recently we did a project in uh, Lonavla, wherein the fronts were focals. The surrounds were, I think, clips. The subwoofer was SVS. And uh, the AV receiver is the Denon AVC X4800H. Now, in that setup, uh, what we did is that the first calibration was done with Odyssey. And the next calibration was done with the Direct Live. Now, Direct Live was obviously upgraded later because the customer had to buy the license. And after he bought it and our team did the calibration using the Umic mics, the difference was like this. So if this was Odyssey, this was the Direct experience. So it was not just a small, tiny difference. The differentiation is huge. But to do that, you definitely need a calibrator who can fine-tune the systems very well. So Odyssey is something which anybody can do if, you know, with the basic knowledge or by watching some videos. But for direct, you definitely need good tools. You need good mics. And you need an experienced calibrator to come and do it for you. So that's the answer. Uh, Fanindra, Rahul is asking, okay, should I ditch the focals for Dino Audio Evoque 20 with a Hi-Fi Rose streamer uh, or a musical fidelity or add a streamer with DAC to my existing 826 with SR5015? See, focals, I believe, I mean, they're good for movies, uh, except if you're looking at the series like Arias and the Cantas, those are, I mean, you know, good for music too. But anything below that, they are more better for movies. That's our, that's my personal uh, opinion. 
but yeah if you're looking to change that i think more than evoke 20 you should then look at some of the flow standing models only because then you'll have to compensate in the similar lines going for a bookshelf will bring down the experience so go for a flow standing speakers i don't know if it can be dyno audio for you or a sonus power or a bnw or even kef but flow standers need to be replaced with flow standers for better output if you're listening only for two channel stereo a uh, room perfect by lingdorf is to, is amazing too oh yeah absolutely kartik thank you for answering my previous question then on x1800h or on your nr6100 which is better overall and also has better reliability and after sales i'm located in bangalore i think both are good uh, kartik Onkyo has got 18 months warranty so that is an additional advantage compared to Denon and Marans which offer only one year warranty uh, but i think between x1800h and nr6100 try to see what matches best with your speakers and then go for it can you advise where can i get the mc acc microphone to use for pioneer sc07 evr uh, drop a message on the whatsapp i have just sent the link you can paste it out here and let me see if we, our team can help you get this mcacc mic uh, cuz generally it comes in the box if you have not got it you'll have to we'll have to check it with the company if they've got a spare part they can ship it to you kf is too fragile seen too many broken cones i agree uh, so not i'm personally not a big fan of kf as well uh, i feel them a little sharp okay even those bookshelves or the flow standing speakers they are sharp after a certain time and you cannot listen to them for hours and hours for me when i have to sit for listening to music it is something which needs to touch you here and for that you need the speakers which are very very sweet in sound or you can listen to them for longer hours we have got fine audio f500s which we use i mean i use for that uh, recently i have added the bnw 600s also over here and i have been loving the sound from that but one of my favorites would still be sonus faber at least in that particular category how is the focal 100 series and what is the comparison with clips focal 100 series is good the 100 involved series the iw lcr5 we recently actually uh, started using for a project in uh, delhi today itself so not bad uh, but clips will always be more powerful it will cover a longer distance as well as a wider uh, room as well so with its horn twitter it's always going to help you um, choice is tough why don't you listen to both of these lakshya and then make a call personally speaking i think after you listen to focal 100 and then if you listen to clips you may be inclined towards clips if you are majorly into movies but if you want a little more softer sound then focal 100 can do the job is clips r 800f better or clips rp series well in clips you have got the reference series then you have got the reference premier series so the rp series will always be better than the reference series and can you tell me what is the difference between bipolar surround speakers versus non bipolar surround speakers thank you so much for asking that because that's one of the topic that of our next videos that are going that is going to be released in the next week about bipolar surround speakers and everything around it so i am not going to disclose too much about it bipolars are good to give you a wider sound coverage for the surround speakers now what are the disadvantages and how is it compared to a normal speaker all those technical things will come out separately in the next video don't worry clips if you want ear pen also uh, that's true there there's, there's a lot of things that uh, people talk about clips so ear fatigue is the right word as they call it uh, so as i said something which brings in too much of sound and you cannot listen in for hours and hours so just like kf clips is also one of them and that's why uh, not many people like it but then there is a separate following for it who want nothing but clips so i have seen those fanatics as well so clips has literally divided the hi-fi industry into two parts one who are totally for it and one who are totally against it you never have anybody with a neutral uh, opinion on clips which tools and software you are using for calibration so <coughs> for uh, with regards to tools we use <coughs> the mini dsp mics the software is for calibration i think either it's an odc software or a direct software we are not yet using the rew our team has just started the trainings on it so rew would still take time probably 4 to 5 months to get our hands on experience on it but as of now we are using these two softwares only for calibration uh, these are some nice questions i think more than 50 minutes passed 
answering all of these questions uh more than questions now what i want to hear from you guys is some sort of content ideas or things that you want us to you know uh, talk about in this channel so please put in that because your uh, opinions will give us good content ideas to you know think upon and get some amazing content for all of you because now with that what if i entire batch getting over we are finally now back in live action to bring out our home theater hacks our setup tours our product reviews all of these setups are all, all of these videos are now coming back live again so we are really waiting for it okay what is your view on viewsonic px749 uh viewsonic px749 is a good projector uh, a recent upgrade to the 748 model uh, compared to that i think you would still find much more better options in the benq optimas or the epsoms so try to stick to that if you can okay so yeah where we we want more content ideas so please feel free to put in those and tell me what sort of product videos or reviews that you are interested in uh, me and atharva we have been sitting around scratching our brains to come up with a great content uh, calendar for all of you and we are trying to divide it into various categories as much as we can uh, some of the other things that i would like to discuss with you is with regards to the kind of uh, services that we have so those of you who are looking to only design or only get solutions with regards to the home theater setups then the link that is pinned in this chatbot use that because that link will help you connect with our technical experts and you can schedule a call with them and they can give you the right solution as to what are the options that can work good in your room or in your environment that is the first service second service we have is of 2d design service wherein to those of you who are stuck between the product selection but your architects or electricians is asking you to boss finalize everything so that they can start with the cabling then in that case we have got a 2d design service which is of 3500 rupees we ask you to help us with your autocad drawings and our designers will help you with all the location of all the products and you are good to go with and your electrical work won't stop and you can still take time to finalize on the av system so that is one system which we are doing across india like we have got clients from assam uh, delhi jharkhand uh even uh, down south in chennai coimbatore etc so a lot of people are opting for that 2d design service to at least start with their interior work and not you know keep it on hold uh, or hold until the time you finalize on the system so that's one uh, the next up is the 3d design service now 3d design service is for those of you who want to actually get a look and feel of that theater room so we create a 3d rendered image of your room with various acoustic patterns the lighting layouts everything so that room actually gives you a picture of how your theater room is going to look like and that is something that again we do so a lot of projects that we are executing for instance the one in chandigarh or bhubneswar or the one that we would uh, we are right now doing in baramati or pandarpur all of these places even bombay for that matter all of these projects are with 3d design so we are actually designing the room we are helping the customers get connections with the acoustic vendors recliner vendors as well so that they can make those individual calls but monitoring the entire av project is something that my team takes care of for you and guiding the electrician carpenters laborers all of these things is what a special point of contact is assigned to you in the 3d design service to guide them with the right steps and that is i think around 5 15000 rupees as a service charge for that uh, 3d design service so these three services are one of the hot sellers for us and in case you want to use that for any of your projects or your requirements again use the link that i have just shared in the chatbot to seek that service and to those of you who have already got a service or got your system but are struggling to get the best output from it then we have got a virtual calibration service which is a 2 hour detailed video call with our calibrator and he is going to guide you through various apps tools and everything that you need before the call and he will actually guide you with a step by step process right from your input media player to your final output display so he is not just going to calibrate your amplifier or a subwoofer he is going to help you calibrate and understand the settings of all of these devices so that is a virtual calibration service that we have because unfortunately his ears can't come all the way there and in case you cannot i mean you do not want to spend high on the tickets and everything then this is one of the easiest buys which is costing around 3500 rupees again 
so virtual calibration service is also something which you should look for if you have got an existing setup but it's not performing to its best level and if you need any of the reviews for these services just check out our you i mean you know our google profile you will see tons of people talking about these services and being happy with it so yeah that's it from my end but before i end i'm going to take out last few questions that have been filling on this chat box uh starting with mr jayant between maran's sr5015 and cinema 60 what should i opt for go for the recent model sr5015 as of now is not available in the country cinema 60 is only what you will get so go for it Vinayak is asking which is the best bookshelf under fifty thousand for music listening. Well, Vinayak, I am loving this BMW six zero seven right in front of me. That is what you can look for. The Dali Oberon three, as I mentioned, is also good. And lastly, I think, I think, I think uh, the Pol Grizzo R two hundred again a a nice worthy product for that price. Where do I demo or use speakers? you can reach out to the home theater dealers if they have got any stocks left if not olx is the only source for you uh, more videos on room acoustics and where we can get natural and non toxic panels uh, okay i think that's a good idea we'll definitely do some more videos on acoustic we recently did one or i think we spoke about that in live i don't know if you have done it you can check our video library you can see if that video is there or no <clears throat> next up we have which is the cheapest three channel lamp that i can use for my friend three channels i am using pioneer sc07 140 watts per channel i think the emotiva basics a3 is good but with pioneer sc07 i don't know if it's going to really add value instead of three channel you can find five channels with rotel uh, rmb1555 is the model i think living room setup and treatment and design and cost effective solution and information thank you so much i think living room setups we have done few we would still cover few of our own projects that are living room setups uh, treatment the treatment for it okay no problem design and cost effective solution and information uh, i don't know how many of you guys have seen our short videos about packages under 3 lakhs 5 lakhs wherein how can you divide the budget and design a great package i don't know if you guys like those kind of videos if yes let me know we can continue bringing more of these in various price brackets uh next up question we have from lakshay asking us can we place a 150 inch screen with the length of room is 18 feet and two rows two rows of sitting also really appreciate your feedback and videos thank you so much thank you so much lakshay for your feedback first of all uh if your viewing distance is 18 feet and two rows of sitting you can go for it that brings us to a very interesting topic we have done a video about what are the desirable screen size based upon the viewing distance but this time around i am going to give you a tool uh, in a separate video obviously not now in a separate video which is going to talk about the modern day requirement for a screen because everybody wants to go as big as they can in the screen and these calculations are going to help you with the right ones so we are going to bring out a special video on how to calculate your screen size so stay tuned for it lakshay but answering your question yes you can the last row will get a good viewing experience the front row may not be that great is benq x 500i or x 300g good for tv replacement yes arvin very nice projector you can look for look out that look for that for replacing the tv kiran singh hi there my hi kiran how are you what about daga harmony 607 for 45k go for it nagursha uh, led versus lamp which is best led is best i am choosing benq x 500i is right option for cinematic exp, uh, experience see led versus lamp i think most of the portable categories are now shifting to lamp based projectors or laser based in some of the models lamp is definitely not an option in portable because portables require less power because at times they work on dc supply second is uh, the led is consuming too much of heat as well as power so the fans are too many in a lamp based projector and the third thing is with lamp with so many fans and the blast and everything you can't really expect a good sound to come out from the projector so that is where leds and the lasers can work fantastic for portable applications and you will not see much of lamp projectors in the uh, portable uh, segment but when it comes to the picture quality i think lamp is still doing far more better job La uh, leds are slowly slowly getting there laser has surpassed lamp no doubt but when it comes to led versus lamp i am a little inclined towards lamp uh, those of you who have seen both of these side by side 
I would like to know your opinion and let us help Vignesh get an answer for it. So for, put uh, put down your opinions in the comments too. Make a video on selecting screen size. Yes, Prabir, that is exactly what we are going to add to the list now. Next up, we have question from Kiran asking us, I have room 15 feet by 24 feet and I want to convert home theater. My budget is 15 lakhs. Okay. So Kiran, what you have to do is you have to use the link that is pinned in the chat. Use that link to get an understanding of what would be the right configuration for you to get a fantastic home theater under that price. Will a 8K TV purchase make any sense for next two to three years? We are still watching 1080i on Tata Sky. Totally agree. Uh, not worth 8K TVs as of now. Not worth for the next three years as well. So stick with your TVs, 4K TVs. That is more than enough. And I think the Sony X80 is fine. I think if you want, you can just go with the latest one, which is the X90 series. I think that's X90K. Uh, can I go for a branded single subwoofer, which costs around 40,000 for two assembled subwoofers with the same price? 400 watts RMS. Two subwoofers will always bring out much more better balance in the low frequencies in your home cinema room, irrespective of the size. So even when we design our home theater rooms, we always have a provision done for two subwoofers. Uh, so avoid going for one subwoofer, Francis. Wow. I think with that, we are now going to come to an end of today's live session. Uh, it was fantastic connecting with all of you guys after a very, very long time. Because in the la last live session, I was on the other side. But today, I'm here right in front of you and your questions. And I'm happy doing this always in helping each one of you. So, yeah, keep sharing, keep subscribing our videos, our channel, so that we can bring out more product reviews for you. And our team is going to reach out to as many brands as possible to get their products and share our feedback or our reviews on it, as well as do some differentiation testing as well along with some competitor models so that is our effort and uh, thank you so much i would love to see you guys back in action in our next live session in the next month second thursday at 7 30 pm and for today i'm going to take your leave and i wish you all a great ipl season and some great festive season as well thank you so much for watching and tuning in i tanmay mehta for one last time your home theater Ali Bhaiya. We'll see you again in the next live session as well as the next video on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.